What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So this video is going to be like a full game preparation vlog. I'm going to film all of today, which is going to be the day before the game. And I'll film all of tomorrow, which is actual game day. We're playing Oklahoma City, our rivals at Oklahoma City. So kind of an away game. It's only like an hour and a half drive, which is like your next door neighbor here in America, which is funny. Um, but yeah, so welcome to the video. It is eight o'clock in the morning right now. I've been up for about an hour. Um, I've just been eating, having a little bit of coffee, getting ready. I'm gonna leave here around 8.30 for training. Should be a very light training session today. It's just gonna be a little bit of like the tactical side before we play Oklahoma City tomorrow. But I do have a little surprise. Uh, we have Gucci, but we also got this little guy. Let me show him. Hey buddy, hey buddy. Hey, buddy. This is Levi. Levi, hey, chill for a sec. We picked him up from the uh, Humane Society. Him and Gucci are finally starting to get a little bit along, even though they still fight a little bit. But uh, he's just kind of like Gucci's little brother now. So she's a friend. Play, <laughs> play toy, yeah. Mimi pretty much vlogged the entire process of getting Levi and getting these two acclimated with each other. So if you do want to see the full, what do you call him, Mimi? <laughs> if you want to see the full kitten diaries, you can go over to Mimi's channel, which is in my description. He's a cuddler, though. <laughs> is he? Mm -hmm. Even compared to Gucci, I like Gucci. Usually, always sits on my lap and does everything, but he, I feel like he needs to like be sitting on Mimi or I every second of the day, pretty much. Huh, oh, Levi? He's also a part of this show. <laughs> So before I head off to training, I'm going to make a little post-workout protein shake and that's going to bring me to the sponsor of today's video, Ritual. I've been taking Ritual vitamins for about two months. Yeah, let me show you. These things, I've been taking these for about two months. Absolutely love them. I love how they can fill the gaps in my diet. And I also love how easy it is to incorporate Ritual into my lifestyle. So I'm really excited to share their new product with you. Ritual is launching their new essential protein daily shakes to support the maintenance of lean muscle mass and support healthy active aging for everyone, not just athletes. Ritual's Essential Protein 18 Plus contains 20 grams of vegan protein and all nine essential amino acids. Like all Ritual products, Essential Protein is soy-free, gluten-free, vegan-friendly, and formulated with non-GMO ingredients. There's no added sugar or sugar alcohols. It contains no major allergens, artificial sweeteners, or colors. So if you guys are interested in Ritual Protein, you can get a massive 10% off your first three months by going to ritual.com slash become. And use code become at checkout and help fuel your body right. So I don't like to have protein shakes before my workout, so I'm just gonna bring this along with me. I'm gonna have this after the training session. All right, I'm headed to training. Mimi's driving me because she needs the car to go to work. It is absolutely pouring. <laughs> it is pouring outside. And it's weird because it is 76 degrees. So yeah. it's been weird. First day of July, July 1st, usually in Tulsa at this point, it's like 90, 100 degrees, hot and humid. But we've had like the last week, it's just been stormy, cloudy. It's been really nice to train in because it's been like kind of like damp at the field. Uh, and not crazy hot, but it's just completely different than, than usual. So training is gonna be very interesting today with this rain. I just got to the facilities, I'm gonna hop in the locker room, change, and I'm kind of hoping that we're inside today, but probably not. Good morning, good morning. Rafa, my guy. My guy. <laughs> so, Let me out of the show. Hey, Leo, do you want to tell uh, tell the people what you learned this last couple of weeks? Nothing from you. Nothing, really? Yeah, what was I supposed to have learned? <laughs> Remember your hamstring? Yeah, Remember what that, you learned? That had come from too much force exerted that, you know. When? You know, in the game. Before that? I, I don't recall. No lessons learned? I don't recall. Okay, Sorry. we'll come back to it. Austin, good morning. Yeah, yeah. 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 
Ну и I'm already getting back home. We had like lightning, crazy stuff. So we couldn't even really train outside. So we just did like a really short, sharp indoor session. Um, but yeah, already back home. So it's still just raining outside. It's still dark and gloomy and everything. Um, I'm really just feeling like a, a lazy, lazy type of day, which is perfect because game day is tomorrow. So I don't want to be doing too much activity anyway. Um, for breakfast, I just had like Greek yogurt, some fruit and coffee. So it's a little bit smaller. Uh, I am going to cook some eggs up right now, uh, but yeah, just kind of just hanging out, chilling, doing a little bit of work. Okay, here's breakfast. We have four eggs. It started off as over easy, kind of turned into more of a scramble with some Cholula sauce, orange banana, and the goat of all snacks, and he's white cheddar bunny, so I'm going to have all this stuff. No, 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 Levi, get down. I know. So I'm going to have all this. It's all kind of like orange and yellow. That's my, that's the theme for today. I'm gonna have all this, then probably take a nap. Mimi's home! How's work? Good. Designing this house right now, it's like this huge house, and the, the wife and the husband both have their own master bedrooms. <laughs> with living rooms and fireplaces. That's our dream, that's huh? That's the dream. <laughs> Don't even have to talk to each other. Separate closets, separate bathrooms. That's the dream. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing here? Mimi, our, our apartment is, is too many cats already. No, we don't have enough. <laughs> she went to baby sister. <laughs> I'm seeing a guy on a horse. Let me, let me add to it, hold on. There, guy on a horse. Who's gonna win for the lap? Gucci versus Levi. Gucci. Gucci should get grandfathered in though. She should. Do you want me to kick this guy out? You can come with him in my lap. Look how comfortable he is in your armhole. <laughs> you can't kick him out. <laughs> All right, so I had the, the perfect lazy afternoon, uh, exactly what I was looking for. I didn't leave that couch for like probably five hours or so. I took a long nap and then I watched some TV and then I uh, had a cup of coffee, edited up a podcast for like the last two hours or so and uh, just been chilling. And if you guys don't know, I, have, I run a podcast. Uh, I throw up all the videos on YouTube and I also throw it up on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, everywhere you listen to podcasts, it's up there. I'm so bad at promoting that. I'm so bad at promoting my programs and, and my Zoom calls and everything. But I have a podcast, if you guys don't know, it's called the Against All Odds Podcast and I basically just bring pros on um, from my own team. And I don't think I've done, I've done a few other pros from other teams and stuff but basically just bring them and uh, talk about their careers and how they went from a youth player to the, uh, the pro game. So I've been editing that up, almost done with that. Now I have a Zoom call in 30 minutes, uh, but before that I'm going to do a little journal entry. I write in my journal, I'd say every, every two weeks, sometimes every week, and it's very standard. I just talk about what's going on in my career, like what's going on in the my, in football, like how training's been going, how I've been feeling, how the body's been feeling, uh, how the games have been going, all that kind of stuff, and just kind of like write down what's been going on. And then I set goals. I set goals for the next week of training. I set goals for the next game, uh, the the rest of the season, and then as far out as it's like till the end of my career. And I think it's just like, I love it. I've been doing it since I dropped out of college back in 2014. I've already filled up a full one of these. This is my second one now. And I, I think it's so cool. I mean, I can go back through my whole career and watch myself vlogging it and everything, which is amazing. But I think the journal entries are even better because you can get a little bit more deeper personal because you are the only one who's really 
reading these. So I, I get really in depth about what's really going on in my career and, and trainings, the highs and lows. And it's just so rewarding to go back and read that. It's rewarding when you're injured to go back and read about your highs and, and, and also your lows and see how you came out of those lows and to get to new highs. It's just, it's just an amazing thing. And I'm so glad I started it when I did. And honestly, I should have started it earlier. Hey Levi, what's going on? Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do a little journal entry and then I got a Zoom call in like 27 minutes now. All right, I'm at my, uh, my little desk, about ready to start the Zoom call. These typically go for about 45 minutes. It is six o'clock at night, so I'll do this, and then I'm gonna have dinner afterwards, and then for the rest of the night, um, try to do, a, might be a little relaxing. I might work a little bit more on trying to finish up this podcast for Sunday. I still have a few more days, but uh, but we'll see. I just have to, it's the proper way to do this. I don't like knives. Shelly doesn't use knives because he eats his asparagus like a rabbit eats a carrot. Wanna <laughs> demonstrate? No. Um, here's dinner. Nice dinner that I cooked all myself while Mimi was uh, sitting on the couch and I taking a nap. Myself today. Um, but we made this yesterday, so it's just a ton of salmon, basmati rice. We have asparagus and shallots. Gourmet, Chef Matt. Um, what time is it? Eight o'clock at night, a little bit late of a dinner. We'll eat this and then, are you done with all your work for the day? Can we watch a movie? Yeah. We'll watch a movie. All right, we're watching Fever right, Pitch right now. I've never wrong. seen it, but it's like Mimi's it's one of her favorite rom-coms. Rom Whoa, and Levi and Gucci are running around all over the place, tackling each other. Yeah. A Red Sox fan. And that's where the story begins. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Nine o'clock, 9.20 in the morning. It's game day, I'm feeling great. I had a fantastic night of sleep. I think I had about nine hours of sleep. So feeling amazing. We finished up Fever Pitch, watched it. I really liked it. That was my first time I've ever seen Fever Pitch and it's probably like 20 years old now. Mimi, would you, uh, would you rate Fever Pitch? I'm gonna go nine out of 10. Nine out of 10? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say the same, nine out of 10, classic movie. Anyway, Mimi and I are just about ready to go on our walk. I really like doing a walk on game days just to get the legs moving a little bit so you're not sitting on the couch lying down all day long. I think it's good both mentally to get outside as well as just physically to get the blood moving a little bit. It's gonna be short though, 20 to 30 minutes, nothing crazy, just around some neighborhoods and then come back here and kind of just uh, chill for the rest of the day until I have to leave for the pregame meeting. So let's go. back in the walk we checked the mail I got two things in the mail that I really want to talk about the first thing Sheldon Tweedy sent over a bunch of socks from step socks his company I absolutely love these I've been wearing these since 2019 since when he first came out with them I've been wearing all, like a ton of them I wear size small even though like I'm a size like nine and a half ten I like a little bit smaller of a sock but I since he sent out the first pair to me in 2019 I've worn them in every single training session every single game underneath my actual cut sock. Love them. So thank you very much, Sheldon Tweedy, for sending those out. And then the other thing is uh, I've been working on creating a t-shirt for a while. I started it back in like 2017. I realized that I was kind of like weighing over my head because I didn't just want to do the typical like just throw on a logo on a normal like Hanes t-shirt. I wanted to actually create something that was more soccer specific, training specific that you can wear and work out in and actually create my own product line. So I partnered up with Pactera who I wear all the compression gear for all of my training and games that I absolutely love. And we've been working on creating a t-shirt. So this is the second sample of the, the full t-shirt. We're kind of testing out the fabric. Um, we're getting there slowly. This fabric is a little light but it's very, I mean, I'm gonna throw it on for you guys real quick. Just need to make a few alterations to it, but it's very like you wanna work out in it. Like I want it to be kind of like a soccer specific, like Lululemon pretty much. But yeah, so this is where we're at. Make a few different changes, but I'll keep you guys updated. I haven't really been talking about it, but I'll keep you guys updated and you know, bring you along with the processes as we do it, but cool. Making progress, small baby steps, t-shirt stuff, product stuff is, 
especially if you want to create your own, is very complicated. Tell them how many like samples you've gone through just on like sizing and because you want the fit to be like yeah. complement your body. So first we were working on the fit, like the actual like cutting of like where how big the sleeves are, the shoulders, like how far it goes down. I think we went through three full iterations of it, of like measuring, cutting up stuff, really planning it out. And then he sent over the, the final prototype of the fit, love that. Then we started working on the actual fabric type. We got a fabric that I loved, but then we couldn't actually source it for the number of t-shirts that I wanted to make. So now we're all trying to find different fabrics now. But I want it to be like a, a something that's breathable that you can work out in that feels great, but also feels like silky smooth and soft just to wear that you'd want to wear like everyday athleisure outside. So trying to balance those two things, but it's been, it's been a process, but it's pretty fun. All right, let's make breakfast. I'm sorry. Man. Okay, breakfast. We got four eggs, hash browns, banana, coffee, and Switzerland versus Spain. One thing that I do when I when I watch games, I'm sure many of you guys do as well, but whenever I'm just watching a game instead of just watching the full match and just kind of like following the ball many times like I'm just focused on one player or in one position and for example in this game Spain versus Switzerland I'm playing left back today so this whole game I've been really watching Jordi Alba and he actually scored in like the eighth ninth minute so I'm just watching his movement his positioning what he does and also just kind of visualizing for myself as well for my game it's nothing crazy I'm enjoying the game it's not like I'm taking notes or anything right now but I'm just kind of more focused on Jordi Alba in that left back position is it for the win oh wow. my oh dang dang I don't know if you heard that, but Mimi said her heart rate was at 96 I <laughs> beats per minute. 99 right 99 now. 99 beats per minute. And it was 60 before the shootout, the penalty started. <laughs> uh, but that's pretty much perfect timing. Uh, I am going to hop in the shower, start packing up for the game, getting ready for it, because uh, we have to leave here in about 45 minutes. So yeah, unfortunately won't really be able to watch the Italy game. I'm gonna have to be traveling and everything. I'll get updates. Maybe a couple guys will have it on the iPad or phone or something. Uh, but yeah. I can give you my login to watch on your phones. It's okay. Well, we have a we have a team meeting during that time too. So like, I think we'll only catch the tail end of it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna hop in the shower and get ready. Okay, all packed up. I basically have uh, my boot bag, so two pairs of boots, my shin guards. I have my toiletry bag, and I just have an extra pair of step socks just in case. Um, so I got everything in here that I need. Now I'm just going to uh, download a few shows or movies or something on my phone just for the bus ride over into Oklahoma City. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much ready to go. It is 2.05, we're gonna leave here in 20 minutes. Ready for the game? <laughs> okay, so we're going to the, uh, the hotel for a team meeting. And in the team meeting, we basically kind of go over the lineup, talk a little tactics a little bit, watch a little video. And then that takes about 30 minutes and then we have a team lunch. And then after team lunch, we head all the way out to OKC on the bus. So we're picking up Eric right now and uh, then we're gonna head over. What's up, Eric? All right, here we go. How are you doing? doing? <laughs> How's your day been? It's been good, it's been good. You ready to go? Uh, Euros, yeah. yeah, that's good. Thanks. Crazy games, huh? Swiss, I wanted this look bad. <sighs>
I just finished the game, uh, nil nil. I mean, it could be worse. It's you know kind of like a meh game. Like okay, we'll take the point. This is our first draw of the season, so um, yeah, not too bad. I always want to win those derby games though. But I was happy with how I played. You know, just little things that I want to improve constantly. You're never gonna have a perfect game, but but yeah. But anyway, I'm with my family, with me, me and my parents in the back. Hello. Say hi, Dad. Hello. Yeah, because um, I'm driving back with them, and instead of going home with the team bus, because it's only like an hour and a half drive, and they came out oh. so. Does that help? No. There they are. No. They're back there now. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we're headed back right now. We got an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let me show my food. Here's what I got. It's like a chicken bowl, some chicken, black beans, rice, uh, some cheese, some tomatoes, and then I got some chips. And I got Gatorade and water to refuel. So we're we'll eating this on the way home. Let's do it, Mimi. Kitty cats. What's up, Gucci? And there's a good guy. Okay, it's 11:40 at night. Just got back to the uh, to the apartment. We're going to feed these guys because they're probably pretty hungry. We gave them a little snack before we left, but they haven't had their full dinner yet. I'm gonna vlog a little bit of tomorrow since my parents are in town. I thought it'd be cool to kind of like show just a little bit of like going out to breakfast and then just being here, playing with the cats and watching the Euro games tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, vlog's not over just yet. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning. Uh, Mimi and I are just about ready to go pick up my parents and then we're going to Queenie's for brunch. We've never been there, so I'm excited to see how it is. Ready, Mimi? Mama, mama, mama. Okay, but nothing major. Yeah. It's cute. It's shit. Um, <laughs> Good dirt. We love Gucci. Wee-bye. 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 Can't give you the attention anymore. Well, they're alive, so that's good. <laughs> they don't fight that much, people. Well, only when they're playing. Wee-bye. Yes. Always pay attention to the first child. Yes, it's okay. Wee-bye. Guys, I'm pretty much gonna finish the uh, the vlog off here. Just kind of hanging out, watching TV. We have uh, dinner reservations for tonight, but it's pretty low key. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, peace.